Hey everybody, I'm James from Signature Solar. I just wanted to have a video set up here where we can explain what to expect with off-grid lighting and uh, really the difference between the two inverter architectures you have to choose from, the transformer-based low frequency and then the high frequency transformerless um, and just some of the universal problems that the two categories have and uh, capacities that they have. So uh, we get occasional questions about uh, inverter experience when people have a lot of LED lights and some of them that are lower quality uh, have flickering issues and then we also have questions about how much flicker should occur even on a good inverter when uh, a circular saw or some kind of a motor is run. So we have four inverters here, the Solark 15, uh, the Schneider 6848, uh, the EG4 6000EX and the 6500 watt EG4. The Solark and the EG4 6500 are both high frequency and the EG4 6000 and the Schneider are transformer based. So I'm starting here plugged into the 6500EX. Uh, I've got a wall of different kinds of lights. I've got a 100 watt incandescent right here. I've got two high quality LEDs. I have a GE Relax that we got from Lowe's for I think four bucks but I think you can get them for even less than that on like a Black Friday sale or something. Um, We've got a Alibaba shop light fixture, and uh, we've got a high quality can light right here. So uh, looking at this and then the side view of the footage we have, we have a separate camera over here to show the flicker. Uh, this is all doing great right now, but if you have too many of the low quality lights on one circuit, I'm gonna use these cheap strip lights that are Utilitech, um, then uh, you can start having issues as you add more. So if we turn on, there are search lights up top, no problem. But if we turn on the strip lights, you're going to see that our cheap light right here starts flickering um, when it was not flickering before. Uh, this is about the worst problem that we've been able to see with the 6500EX. Um, some of the cheapest bulbs, notice how the other ones, the higher end ones and the incandescent do not have this problem. Uh, but still, for right now, this is where we've gotten to with the software on a high-frequency drive. Um, for comparison, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off uh, and connect it to the Solark 15. And actually, this one has uh, problems uh, with the cheap bulb. It runs the other ones great, uh, but it has problems with the cheap bulb even without these, uh, even without these strip lights. So. Uh, not incredibly different. The problem is that this bulb, these cheaper bulbs will be a problem for you if you're in a high frequency inverter. Uh, now, some people have had uh, luck with inverters that are connected to the grid because of the grid neutral is stabilized using the grid's auto transformer. So if you have a neutral bond, uh, neutral ground bond pass through like you should have in those systems, uh, you may benefit from that uh, when it comes to light flicker as well. But to show the difference we have here, we have the 6000EX and it is set up over here. Now here's the 6000EX, no problems whatsoever on these lights, transformer based. And if we turn the strip lights on, we have no problems. So the, every transformer eats a lot of power on the lower end units. The, uh, 6000EX is another 35 watts to get that transformer, but this is one of the benefits you get out of uh, that idle power that you're, you're setting up for. Um, I'm gonna show the Schneider 6848, and the thing that's really unique about the Schneider is that it has very low idle power for a transformer. It's 34 watts for the entire inverter. It's incredible. And look at that, we have the same quality of light with a whole lot less idle power, but it's still a transformer-based inverter. And I think that's the architecture decision that you have to make when you're uh, going off the grid is uh, just really what matters there, or can you take the time and get higher quality light bulbs? Uh, so people are also asking about what the effect of motors are with all these different brands. And I thought we could kind of create a relative experience here with some of the higher end brands um, and then also the EG4s on motor flicker. So we're going to start here with the Schneider and I've got pretty high hopes here because this is transformer based. Oh 
Okay, so that was not that much flicker, but if you still remember growing up with, you know, the first time you worked with a, a drill or something and the lights flickered in your house, uh, motors do that to electrical systems. They have a lot of surge power. So to, to, to think that it'll never, your lights won't flicker when you start a motor is really uh, unrealistic. Uh, if we try this on the 6000, about the same right there, the 6500, back to the good old small flickering in the middle issue. I can't say it's terribly much different of a flicker than the transformer based, uh, but once again, expect a flicker. Uh, if we try this on the 15K, see, and the thing I would point out is that if you have lights of this quality, you're a happy camper. This never flickers at all. Uh, if you have Really, if you just avoid some of the cheaper lights, you're not creating a scenario where you have these other issues. These are all on dimmer switches. Um, and uh, then you just have to be realistic about how much surge a motor is going to put onto a system and what short term flicker will occur. Uh, you know, I think that there might be an opportunity in the future to ramp up through software the high frequency capacity of these high frequency inverters. Maybe there's a way to keep improving that until then. If you get a high frequency inverter, there's a lot of benefits. You have less idle power. Um, some of them have better UL ratings off the get-go. Uh, like this one's a UL 1741 rating, whereas our transformer does not. It's really off-grid only. Uh, if you go that way for that feature set, expect that if you had some budget LEDs on dimmers, you might have to upgrade them. But you know, LEDs are a 25-year investment. If you spend a few extra bucks to get a good quality light, uh, that probably isn't that terrible of a situation. Uh, there was an issue in the last couple months with uh, firmware that was released outside of our authorization for the 6500EX by our manufacturer. Uh, we straightened that out of a couple weeks ago. All the units we ship right now have that firmware that has created the uh, non-flickering issue on these inverters. And... Uh, from any, any firmware that you see on our website. If you have flickering issues, you can just update it and uh, you'll be able to achieve the same kind of flickering uh, capacity. But ultimately, we have to also demonstrate that with the high frequency inverter, you're not going to be happy with every single bulb in creation. You will have to be judicious about the quality that you have. Thank you for watching, guys.